howdy everybody thought I'd make this video really quick to show you that people like this exist in ev probably every just about every institution of higher education in not just Canada but also in the United States you teach this you mm -hmm. teach trans studies so if you would give us a brief primer on so many gender identities that in your view require non-traditional pronouns. Basically, it's not correct that there is such a thing as biological sex. And I'm a historian of medicine. I can unpack that for you at great length if you want, but in the interest of time, uh, I won't. So that's a very popular misconception. So essentially, when in my transgender studies classes, what we're doing is looking at actual research and identifying ways that current social issues related to trans people or things that are associated with trans, such as free speech arguments and claims, uh, how that connects to the way that people are thinking, the way that research has been framed, the and histories give of Give us systemic. some of the other pronouns that one would hear, typically. Um, I don't focus on pronouns because pronouns are actually part of a cis-normative culture. So what we do is learn about... Well, I'm going to stop you right there. Yes, yeah, I was just about to explain. Good. So we don't start from a cis-normative perspective because that can't actually go very far. What does cis-normative mean? So I'm going to start us there. Cis-normative is basically the very popular idea and assumption that most people probably have, and definitely that our structures convey, uh, that there is such a thing as male and female, that they connect to being a girl or a boy or a man or a woman. Uh, and then sometimes that will also recognize intersex or trans people or transsexual people, as you mentioned, uh, because that's uh, sometimes also referred to as a gender binary. So anything that fits within a gender binary uh, can work within cisnormativity. Okay. Uh, but cisnormativity is basically that everyone assumes that there is male and female, and so very little is actually looked at to understand what's actually the case. And scientists yeah. have been doing this for because at your least view over would be 50 years. Because your view would be it's much more complicated than that. Right. It's not my view. I just know that for over 50 years, scientists have shown that that's not true. And yet, our social systems haven't been able to find a way to address the level of complexity that what people point, actually experience. I, and just remember, the tax dollars that the government takes from you goes to pay the salaries of people like this who teach your children to believe that there is no such thing as male and female.